Hello, Heritage of Faith family. Pastor Justin here. I just want you to know Annette and I are praying for you, and we believe that the best is yet to come in your life. I know right now it's a challenging time, and, and so many things happening in our world today. Uh, th so many things are unstable, but I believe what I keep hearing the Holy Spirit speak to my heart is that through the Holy Spirit and through the Word of God that we can be stable in unstable times. You know, I want to remind you something that I ministered this past Sunday based out of Luke chapter 21. And it tells us in the last days, it tells us how men's hearts would fail because of fear and because they were looking at the things that were coming on the earth. You know, it, it didn't mean, it didn't say that their hearts were failing because of the things that were coming on the earth. It said their hearts were failing because they were looking at the things that were coming on the earth. I believe now more than ever that we have to be looking at the right things. I believe we have to be meditating on the right things. And we have to be set our affection on the right things. And I believe that is paramount and that is foundational uh, on how we're going to get through these times. And I believe as a church body, not only do we need to be strong in the Lord ourselves, but we need to allow that strength to affect someone else. You know, as I go in today's, today's message and, and the nugget that I have for you today, I remind you of Colossians chapter 3, where it tells us, if you be risen with Christ, seek those things that are above where Christ sits. It tells us to set our affections on things above, not on things of the earth. I'm telling you, that's what we have to do. Instead of looking at all the things that are coming on the earth, we have to be looking up. We have to be looking at the word. We have to be looking in our hearts. Uh, we have to be looking at, at the, the gift of the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The Holy Spirit is a gift. The Holy Spirit is a strengthener. The Holy Spirit is a standby. And I want to encourage you, set your own affection on things that are above. You know, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 tells us the things that we see are temporary, but the things that we don't see are eternal. And I believe that's something that we need to look as you watch the news, as you talk to your neighbors and friends, you, you have family conversations, realize what's going on right now is subject to change. We can see everything that's happening around us. We can hear everything that's happening around us. And that's why we need to focus on things that are above. We have to set our affection on things above. That setting our affection on things above can also mean, hey, we need to place our trust we need to place our trust on him who is invisible. You know, just that statement alone reminds me of what the Apostle Paul said in, in Timothy. He tells us, I know in whom I have believed. He didn't say, I know what I believe. He said, I know in whom I have believed. So I want to encourage you, set your affections on things above. Set your affection on that personal relationship with Jesus, with your Heavenly Father with the Holy Spirit. Don't let go of those, those things. I'm telling you, it is unstable times out there, but you, as a person of heritage of faith, maybe you're not a part of heritage of faith, but as a believer, as a child of God, set your affection on things above. And as you do, I believe you'll become stronger on the inside because I'm telling you, the world needs to see strong believers, strong brothers and sisters in Christ. So today, set your affection on Him. And I believe that you'll become stronger and stronger day by day. We we'll love you. Until next time, God bless.